Hello everyone, this is Rowan from TCB. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly fly a Vulture. The first thing you need to know about the Vulture is its role in the fleet. Its job is to hit the enemy fleet with its debuffs and then leave the field as quickly as possible. In the following clip, you're going to watch the hit and run tactic in practice. Unfortunately, in this scenario, there wasn't a Celestial behind the enemy fleet I could warp to, which meant I had to make a full turn to get back out. Normally, that would not be the case. If you are dead, reship immediately. Target their logic first. Fleet commanders, make sure you use thrusters. If you're being targeted, make sure you use, uh, make sure you use your shield. Arrived at target location. Needs target. There we go, thank you. Keep your Ooh, that's up, a long QCO go manual. Super is free, everyone. It just so, as you can see there, the basis of the hit and run attack is very straightforward. You warp onto the grid, hit your thrusters, apply your debuff, and then leave. Occasionally, things get complicated though. In the next clip, you get to see what happens when I become warp scrambled. This is a situation that you're very likely to run into, and the important thing is to remain calm and continue to fly at max speed in the direction of your warp out point. By the time they deal enough damage to trigger invisibility, you should be able to warp out if you haven't already. In this clip, you're going to hear the hull breach warning. That is my other ship being shot down and has nothing to do with the vulture. So don't worry about that. Keep up with the fire, guys. We're doing good. This is going to hurt. Hopefully, uh, we get some back up here in a second. Wex, let me know if you start taking damage, alright? Alright. Reps on the leading. Uh, no, I don't think so. Actually, they're going for me. Yell at your name if you're getting if you're getting targeted. Do not use the exclamation part button. Focus, logic, you guys. I think that bubble means help has arrived. Everyone, immediately reship if you're dead. It's gonna be a long battle. We're gonna. It's gonna be a long grind. We're just gonna be continually grinding them down until they give up. TCB. In this next clip, we're gonna go over how survivable it is. There's no audio because the language in this clip wasn't particularly suitable for a video like this. So you can see here that I've landed on grid with a bunch of hostiles. I find myself immediately warp scrambled, I pick my warp out point, and I begin to burn in that direction. You can see the rest of the fleet landing around me as I make my burn. At this point, my focus is on escape and I do not hit my buffs a second time, as I am most likely out of range. You can see here me selecting a secondary warp out point to add a bit of transversal. At this point, my ship immediately goes into invisibility. However, this time allows the warp debuff to wear off, and I can escape successfully. So as you can see, this ship is incredibly survivable. I think it's one of my favorite ships to fly currently in the game. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you have any questions, put them in the comment, or you can find me on the TCB Discord, which link will be in the description. I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a very, very fun clip of me flying my Vulture through an Aegis bubble and just generally having a good time as we destroy a whole bunch of ships. Hope you guys enjoy that. Fly dangerous. Man, that was a that was expensive early weapon for that. That was a big old screw up. Oh, did I get warp champs? Oh, okay. Yeah, the Aegis just warp champs everyone. Super. Wasn't leading <laughs> anything. At least we don't get <laughs> QCO, go back to manual, I've disconnected again.
Changing target. I actually feel bad now. I can't even get my secret device off now that we're living longer. <laughs> it's a good thing. Target's clear, grid cleared. That must have hurt. Yeah, that was pretty brutal.